Hello, YouTube. My name is Carissa. I'm a pro singer, voiceover artist, actress, and I have two degrees in music. And today I'm going to be live reacting to a girl that pretty much my corner of the internet on YouTube has been demanding that I live react to. Literally demanding. I have this comment from Thomas Chevelles saying, Hello, Chris. You uh, seem to be overlooking Amira, who is considered by many to be the most or the best young soprano out there at the present. Question mark exclamation point. She is a Dutch lyric soprano born in 2004. She taught herself how to sing opera from seven to nine using YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and say she didn't teach herself how to do opera. She taught herself to imitate, which is a wonderful skill. And I think it's amazing when people know how to mimic, but it's not learning the art of opera. Sorry. Then one Holland's got talent in 2013. Incredible at nine singing three arias. And at 10, she appeared with Andrew Andre Ryu in 2014. Great. Awesome. She is, she never gets nervous and she's excited to sing. And the bigger the audience, the better she sings classical crossover and she has four CDs, four DVDs, three stream concerts, and that is incredible. So we are about to watch a young phenom. Thank you, Thomas, so much for giving me this person to watch. Uh, I've had multiple people ask me to watch Amira, and I don't think I've ever seen her perform. So I am excited to see her perform. Uh, the Sound of Music. Oh, bless. I freaking love this music. Okay. I'm so excited to see it right off the bat. Not going to lie, I hear about a girl who's under the age of 10 singing opera, and I think, wow, that's a great mimic. That's a great imitation. I don't think that this is an opera singer because she hasn't studied opera and bel canto technique. That is just my opinion. I am very excited to see somebody who's very, very good at listening and has an audio gift, and I'm really excited to see that. Let's listen to Amira. Uh, Will Willing Hagen, Hagen, Amira, sing um, Sound of Music in 2019. This was two years ago. Let's watch it. This, uh, this video has one million views. Oh, entire orchestra? Yes, queen. Oh my God, she looks like a dang princess. Oh, no. So pretty. With songs they have sung for a thousand years. The hills fill my heart. Beautiful. With the sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song. It hears. My dog also wants to sing. My Sorry. Interesting bell shape on music. Music. That was such a small vowel shape. That's definitely a European thing. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, we love a medley. Beautiful. 
Straight tune on the white. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to pause it here because I want to talk about her vowel shapes on Edelweiss. Because specifically it is a more lyric line, she is using bel canto technique here, right? She is modifying her vowel. I think this girl actually has had bel canto technique put in her at a young age. So this is possibly a, a person who has studied opera and bel canto technique. This does not just sound like an imitator. This sounds like a person that has actually studied opera. Yeah. Because grow, too. Garo. And she's using shadow vowels, too. She's straight toning on a lot, though, which means it's crossover. she would have put more vibrato at the end there i wish she would have switched to the vibrato a little bit sooner because she does have such a beautiful beautiful little spinny vibrato it's so pretty and it's so bell like this is definitely a phenom this is definitely a freaking nature this is definitely a voice that is not just a mimic i take back what i said this is not just a mimic this is a person who i think has had training this is a person that is very dedicated to the training. But I will say, this is not an opera singer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, but I don't care. This is not an opera singer. This is a crossover singer. This is what this is. This is a crossover singer. The reason I know that this is a crossover singer is because she did not opt for the vibrato throughout the legato line. Instead, especially on long notes, she opted for the straight tone to a little sparkle of vibrato. If you are going to opt for the straight tone, that means that you are going for the crossover sensational Dimash sound. You're not going for a bel canto technique operatic legato sound. It is different. It is a different style trait. It is a different way of thinking about the, the line and the legato line. This song and this repertoire is absolutely appropriate for her at this time. And they did keys that were like great for her and stuff like that. Now, granted, she's not quite old enough to be a Maria, understandably, but she probably in like a production would play Lee Soul or something like that. Um, but this this repertoire is not like crazy disgustingly like inappropriate you know what I mean it's like a, it's it's just adjacent to what she would actually play um in real life if she was going to be cast in a show which is very refreshing for young voices like this it's very refreshing to see a young voice that's not pushed into something that 30 year old women sing as repertoire on stage after studying opera for at least 10 years so this is is really cool I really did enjoy this a lot um as far as her voice like I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a young voice right and this is a voice that's growing there were some choices that I disagreed with as far as like what she could have done and so I'm gonna give her an eight out of ten as far as like her voice musical choices right I don't think she needed a breath before every single note at the very end I think her nerves probably got the best of her um, 
And I also believe that um, she's still working on the stage presence stuff. Granted, she looks beautiful in that gown. Again, great choice. Great choice as far as costume design because this is a little girl and you have put her in a ball gown and that's precious and she's covered and she's not sexualized. And it's beautiful. That's just my own thing. So take it as, as you want. I love the costume design too. She looks like a, a princess. Um, and some of her, some of her gestures were a little bit too stiff. Again, she a little girl, like she's still learning. She's still figuring it out. That's fine. The, the stage charisma is going to come with time. It's going to come with her doing so many amazing performances in her career. Right. So I'm going to give her a seven out of 10 for that, uh, because she's doing an incredible thing. She could be a little bit more charismatic on stage. Um, and as far as like vocal technique and like quality of voice I'm gonna say like 10 out of 10 because she just she just has a really really pretty beautiful bell tone like there's there's no like refuting that this this woman young woman um has a beautiful bell tone and it's so pleasing to listen to uh, this is a great performance and I I'm totally willing to watch more of her because she is just a gem and I love hearing young voices sing this kind of stuff too, because it's just beautiful. Um, Thomas, you picked the right video to introduce me to her because I like when young voices sing things that young voices should be singing. <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's really nice. And it sounds really good. And it sounds lovely in her voice. Oh, that was such a joy to listen to. Goodness gracious. My, my voice teacher heart is so happy. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you, Thomas, so much. Um, I was proved wrong. This is not a mimic. This is, this is a, a trained singer through and through. And I'm really excited to see what she continues to do because she's got some really, really cool stuff ahead of, ahead of her, really. Um, she's, she's wonderful. She's a great singer. Um, thank you guys so much for being here, for watching this all the way through. If you're still here, then thanks. I appreciate it. Um, I just learned that I was the victim of a phishing scam. So I'm going to be making some more YouTube videos and some more live reacts because, uh, because my entire YouTube channel will not be revoked. <laughs> like the trolls in my emails told me. <laughs> so silly me. Um, I will be doing some more live reacts in the future. Thanks. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it.